Here we got a 1964 Impala. Convertible. White interior, baby blue. Nice color combination. I love that. It's got the alternator too. <laughs> dual master cylinder. That's you know that's upgraded stuff right there, man. Alternator dual master cylinder. No AC because you got AC with the windows down and with that vent window. You know what I always liked about these two? You could take down the uh, the back. You, you could take out. You could unzip the back window and. Uh, you know, you got like the air would just blow right through there, no problem. I mean, as long as you're going five miles, even with that, you're going five miles an hour with them things, you're not going to get too hot. I mean, my my uh, Suzuki, my '85 Suzuki 4x4 or my '78 El Camino, I got no air conditioning in those things, and I drive them. I drive I drive them all the time in the summer in Florida. And again, I love that rear speaker like that. This thing sounds good, actually, like that, in the middle like that. It's like a GM exclusive or something. Versus putting it on the sides, in the back. It sounds better right in the middle like that. And you don't, they don't make bench seats no more because of the airbags requirement. So this was like a six-passenger car, you know? Much better. And these, and these didn't do that bad on gas. I mean, we were talking like, uh, it was doing bad on gas with some of the high performance stuff. I mean, I don't know what this is, like, what's in here, 283 or something, probably. It wasn't that bad. I know, like, the uh, friend of mine had a, one of them had a, one friend of mine had a 260 Mustang. The other one had a six cylinder Mustang. And that thing, you could drive that down, um, down the highway, you just get over 20 miles to the gallon, no problem. It wasn't that bad. And the gas is only 30 cents a gallon anyway, so even then, just the inflation was still cheap. So, and this is the Impala because it's got three lights on, on each side. The, the, the Bel Air had two lights on each side. I think that's why a lot of Chevy Chevy guys at Corvettes they like putting the three lights on each side. I don't know, it makes it look like it's. I don't know. It's a non-factory option, but a lot of people did it.